And here's our latest scan that just came in. This is moving to the northeast once again at 35 miles per hour. So now the area is situated right around I-20, a little bit to the north of that near Thigpen into Warren County. Here's the impacted roads here, Ridge Road. Still seeing that area where the red and the green come close together. And that's why we still have that tornado warning in effect until 4.45 p.m. So just around 10 more minutes left on this. But like he was talking about, we did have that other tornado warning to the south and to the west of it. And it does look like that one is not showing as significant of rotation. This is set to expire at 5 p.m., but will likely be dropped before that. So if you're anywhere along this eastern border of Hancock County, I'd say things are looking much better for your area. On the storm relative velocity, notice we're not really seeing much rotation anymore. There's some red into the green to the south of it, but it's not really coming as close together as this cell. Notify any friends or family that could be in a mobile home in this area right around the lake. They need to be getting into that safe place. This tornado warning goes for Columbia County, Edgefield County, McCormick County until 5.45 p.m. So quite some time on this. It's only 5.07. So we'll be watching this for a while. Definitely go somewhere that is on the lowest level. A bathtub would be a great place, somewhere to protect your head as well. You'll want to put your hands over your head or put a helmet on your head. So as we saw in that video that we just had, that was a tornado that we were seeing. So it'll likely become confirmed. And that was in Warren County earlier. Likely now the area that we're watching right around Modoc subdivision, State Route 33 to 21. That's where we have that rotation with the red and the green coming together here. And we can also see it on our shear tracker. Not only are we just seeing the green, we're also seeing some red and that indicates some stronger rotation now. So it is looking more and more likely that this could be an actual confirmed tornado. This is to the east of Highway 221 now, now along State Highway 223. Let's go back to our rotation here. Looks like it may be getting a little bit more broad. We're not seeing the red and green meeting as closely together as they were just a moment ago. Downtown Sparta along Highway 16. If you're in Culverton, you're just outside of it, but it will likely be extended. And it's these severe thunderstorm warnings that we need to watch for the rotation that could potentially become tornado warned later on. So definitely something to take seriously. This still goes until 545, so around 20 more minutes left on this. It does still include Lincolnton and Columbia County, but I'd say you guys are in the clear now. It's this area of red and yellow that we're watching, and that's on the border of McCormick and Edgefield County. So if you are around the Clarks Hill Lake area, Modoc, you can now get out of that safe place. Definitely still keep us on, though, since we could have more warnings pop up. It's really not looking as impressive. So all afternoon, we've been looking where the green and the red come together, and that's not what we're seeing anymore. We're really just seeing some darker reds with lighter reds, so that indicates some very weak rotation. But nonetheless, still get in your safe place. If you're around Highway 25, any of those surrounding communities, you'll want to get to the lowest level of your house or a basement. It looks like this is starting to weaken, but still get into your safe place. If you are anywhere from northeastern Edgefield County into Saluda County, this tornado warning goes until 6.15 p.m. The tornado warning to the south of that is expiring now, so no issue there. We have some bands of heavy rain headed towards Richmond County now over uh, Columbia McDuffie County, but... So far, so good. Doesn't look like any rotation over there. And then with this line over in our western line counties, that's where we just have the 60 mile per hour wind gusts. So just severe thunderstorm warnings over here that go until 6 o'clock. So around 15 more minutes left for Tolliver and Hancock County. And we've had a lot of viewer pictures of different possible tornadoes. We don't have any official reports yet from the Weather Service, but there's a look. Uh, Thompson, Georgia, definitely seeing a potential tornado over there. It's a little bit hard to see, of course, with the trees and the buildings in the background, but you can definitely see at the very least some very stormy shots there over in Thompson. I know Tim was talking earlier about scud clouds, so sometimes those could get confusing and look like tornadoes, and you can definitely see that in, on the left side of that photo right over the building. That would just be a scud cloud, but right over the trees in that building sign there is where a tornado could possibly be reaching the ground. So once again, this isn't confirmed, but nonetheless, definitely a very scary view over there in Thompson. So thank you to everyone that's been sending in photos. That's very helpful but of course also keep a distance from these storms if you see it and you're right there snap a picture but then get to your safe place immediately